Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers, to a snapshot of 18W08B, and we have fish. And it makes me extremely happy. Um, these puffer fish, very interestingly, they have three sizes, so one, two, and three. That's the largest they get, as far as I can tell. And I have in here everything we'll need to be able to show you about these fish. So the fish simply look like this. Here's the cod. The salmon, which is longer, and I think the salmon looks really good, and the puffer fish, which if you come in contact with, you get poisoned. Now, I'm going to try to show you a unique feature about these when the poison runs out. Look, if I get close to these while they're small, you do not get poisoned. It's only when they're the large variety. Now, the purpose of the fish buckets is that you're able to transport these fish, which is fantastic. And when you place them, it'll also place a water source. So you need to be wary of that. It's not going to just place the fish alone. Finally, the reason for the water buckets is that you're able to go up and right click a fish if it's a water bucket. If it is not, you only pick up the water. But if I'm able to get one of each, that would be fantastic. You. Huh. Oh, well, couldn't get back the cod. But that's it for the fish, which is really awesome. You have to be wary of those puffer fish or else you are going to get poisoned in your world. Next, dried kelp is able to be crafted into the kelp blocks, which is a 9x9, nine nine, which will be useful for smelting, and bonus, it can be crafted back, so it's able to be storage for the dried kelp, which is awesome. So with those out of the way, the big other change is the, oh, I ran into another puffer fish, is the ocean floor in lukewarm and warm ocean biomes is now sand. Also, warm oceans no longer have a deep variety because, well, when water is deep, it's not warm. There's also a glitch I found in this is that when you're standing right at the water's edge, the water underneath is as if you have a night vision potion. Oh, one other thing is the bubble effects in here. I don't know if these were here in the last snapshot. I didn't notice them before, but I believe that there's been a change, and I think that is it. So I believe that's it from this snapshot, guys. It looks awesome. I'm going to be probably moving over my single-player Let's Play of Warcraft over simply for the dried kelp blocks. I'm really excited for those. I'm going to be using those like crazy. But thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys back with the next one. Goodbye.